Good morning, everybody. It's actually evening for me because I'm recording this on Friday night. I want to let you guys know that we are releasing the Maker's Mark pick that we did with Dean's and A1 Liquors. Uh, this was the most beautiful distillery I've ever been to. I feel like I've been to most, if not all, in Kentucky. <clears throat> so, if you want to get in on the list, I need you to watch the rest of this video, subscribe, like, and comment on this video, please. I want to tell you a story about when we went down there and did the pick. It was awesome. Absolutely awesome. They fed us lunch, um, gave us a beautiful tour. And if you guys have never been to Makers, I suggest going to Makers as a destination. It is, it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we, we go through the Rick House. We taste it straight from the barrel. It's, it's good. If you ever had Makers, Makers is always good. Um, it's just kind of one of those... If you go to a, a bar, they don't have anything decent. That's what that's what I would order. Pretty much that or, or Woodford. So, but uh, we started putting together our stave selections, and the first one we put together was um, let's see here. We had one seared cuvee, six French mocha, and three toasted French spice. That was awesome. That was a great great combination. To me, it tasted like the double oaked pick that. Uh, a1 had last year the Christmas cocoa, very similar in profile. It was very heavy chocolate, caramel, um, cherries was another big flavor in that one. Really good. It had a little, little too much spice, I believe. So we went and did the next stave selection, which is the one that we actually went with. So it was one baked American pure two, two seared cuvées, five roasted... French Mondiance, I think that's what they called it. Yeah, roasted French Mondiance, and then two toasted French Spice. That hit absolutely perfect. It was completely, even just the little bit of changing from the first one to the second one was dramatic. And the, the guy from Makers, as soon as he took a first sip, his immediate reaction was, God damn. I looked over at him. I'm like, what's up? He's like, try it. So I tried it. I'm like, holy shit. This is so good. This is so, 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 so good. And uh, so we all agreed that that was a really great one. We even tried to kind of mimic that with a different one where we did, you know, one baked American pure, one French cuvee, one makers, five of the Mondiant, and two of the French spice. That one was okay. And then we did, you know, one pure two, one of the French cuvee, six of the mocha, or the Mondiant, and two of the French spice. And that was that one was still pretty good. And uh, then we, we tried the, another one, which was very comparable. They're all, they're all really good. But the one that we picked was better than the rest by far. Um, the cool thing was when we were on our way back to the distillery from the lake house that we did the tasting at, the tour guide when we got back to the distillery uh him and i were just kind of talking I'm, I'm a talker so if you ever met me like i just you know i kind of talk to everybody so yeah that's it it's a it's a good thing but it's a curse sometimes just ask my wife so uh him and i were talking and he actually told me that that he couldn't believe how great of that stave selection was and that he was going to give it to their master taster um to see if that could be one of the, the wood finishing series in the future. He said it was that good. He says the best that he's ever had. So we felt <laughs> incredibly confident about how, how great this pick is. And uh, um, the barrel, I mean, it's gonna be a completely full barrel. It's 240 bottles is what we were guessing. It's gonna be in that barrel. It's 108.8 .8 proof is what the entry point was. So we're, we're guessing it's gonna be the same. So, um, but I know you guys have waited four minutes and 40 seconds for this. If you want in on this maker's pick, I need you to comment on the Facebook post. The Facebook post has all of the notes, the, has, has everything that you need except for how to get in. I want you to post Ben, B-I-N, 
A1, or if you want to pick up at Dean's Liquor in Collinsville, you post BIN, B-I-N, Dean's. And that will be what you need to commit yourself to a bottle. So, but we're doing three weeks to pick up. If you don't show up in three weeks to pick this bottle up, uh, you're not going to be hit on any more picks. And then the store owners are just going to give it to the general public. So I don't think you guys want that. I think the other rusty members are going to be upset if, if someone gets in and they don't pick up their bottle. So, but I hope everybody has a great day. Hope everybody gets in. And, uh, this was excellent. If anybody ever wants to take a look at the guide from, from Maker's Mark, it's really cool. I suggest everybody go there and take the tour. It's awesome. Everybody have a great day.